They say that anger is part of grief. I can feel it bubbling up within me, but I can't give in to it. I don't know how to express it. I've spent my life trained to suppress it, not slam doors or raise my voice like it's my choice to end up on the floor with his arm pressed against my throat because last time his hands left marks. I don't know how this shit starts. I learned self-control, how to hold it all in. It was the only way I knew to stay safe, to take it, just to fake it. Because if I stood up for myself, it'd only get worse. Don't curse. I'm too weak to say what I want, like a toy running off dying batteries. My voice is distorted, and it doesn't matter. He's going to punish me. He's going to gun for me. It's left me incapable of being angry. Everything I say is measured. Everything I do is censored. I have a lot to be mad about. Not just exes, but everything. What's the next thing? I'm not the kind of person that's supposed to be okay. I'm not supposed to sit here writing and taking pictures, talking about my triggers. I'm not supposed to be sober enough to know my own name. I came from a line of alcoholics. My friends were drug dealers and stealers. There's addicts in my attic, vagrants in my basement, but I loved them and all they did was condemn me to this life of trying to be human, but it's confusing. And here I am pretending I'm normal, crying over my dead granny and picking my kids up from school, too stubborn to become what I was supposed to be. Wipe away the tears and plaster smile on my face while I bake croissants, but it haunts me. I dream about someone I haven't seen in 20 years, like he still controls my life and represents my fears. Do I owe him? I don't even know him anymore. This feminine rage is a cage that keeps me safe, holding my breath like a corset, barely breathing on my own, but I force it. Everyone says, forgive, 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 but I can't, not as long as I live. I won't let go. It stays fresh inside me, sealed for eternity. This grudge is my protection from the next prick who wants to harm me. I cut myself off, off from the world, off from the words. Just keep snipping and clipping until there's nothing left to go wrong. And it's been so long since I've known peace, if I ever did. Maybe when I was a little kid, or before that, before I was born, maybe I was forewarned. <laughs>